Hi there. So today I will explain you how to use the anchor point in Samsung Painter. Okay, so first of all, why you need the anchor point, right? And what is it? So basically the anchor point will help you to reuse information from different layers. But let's get started and I'll show what I mean. Okay, so this one can be a bit tricky and confusing to understand. But once, once you understand, it's super easy to use and really, really powerful. Okay, so first of all, create like a fill layer, imagine. On your fill layer, you, you could add, for example, normal information, right? So you want to create a paint on, because you don't want to, I mean, you can also draw directly on the layer here and use the normal information, but you, you kind of want to use the norm, a normal paint layer. Just because it's easy to control, you can also go back easily and you can add more you can i don't know for me it makes more sense like this again it's just a preference so you can go directly to the normals okay let's maybe bring this one here so then just draw whatever you want for me i'm gonna put a cool face on him see cool uh yeah so meet matt now has a, a a new face going on now let's create like a a metal shading going on can be red cool okay And now I want to create like a underneath metal. Okay. So just up the metallic. And I want this underneath metal to work on the borders, right? So basically just create a, a basic generator should be okay. Yeah, cool. So see now the mask is working on the borders, right? But on the normal information that we drew, nothing is happening. At least I don't see the borders behaving the same way. Also here, nothing is happening. And this doesn't look real, right? Because if it happens here, it should also happen here. Happen here. Okay. So to that, we can use the anchor points and they come super handy on that. So on, on the first layer that you drew the normal, what you want to do is just add an anchor point and then you want to name it to be better organized. You can say face normal, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And then on your generator, you want to go to micro details. They are actually on, I don't know why. They should be off, but make sure and uh, in your micro normal go to anchor points and choose face normals but as you see nothing really is happening right again just because now th the reference channel is the base color so you have to choose normal and now yeah now you see it's happening which is super cool again in the micro details you can control what is happening? Yeah. And um, you can choose different types of uh, curvature. Sobel, smooth, standard, <clears throat> I normally keep in standard. Okay. So this is all normal. You can also use it in the mask building and maybe start in the height information, for example. So what I mean by that is just, let's create another fill layer and let's choose another color here. Yeah, it could be blue. You can also, yeah. So here, once you start building a mask here, like for example, let's add a pattern.
Okay, see the mask? Maybe we can also put some high. Okay, so now he has a pattern, right? So also makes sense that because these edges are a little bit high, that gets also the same edge information of the underneath metal. So to do that is basically the same process. So you only have to add a anchor point here as well. You can call it pattern. And in the same generator, insert on micro weight this time, the anchor point. So pattern, yeah, that's it. Now it's working, it's a little bit weird right now, but yeah, we can just, I think it's the radius here. Yeah, see, now it's also behaving with the mask. So you can do it by anything. So. You can also do alphas, anything. See the cool effect now? <laughs> you still have the normal information on the, you still have the, yeah, the normal information, but now you add the height information. Okay. So basically that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.